14 straight seasons of making the playoffs. Um, from what they, you've seen them do in the offseason, the moves that they made, the coaching change, Sandra Schwartz now in charge, do you still see them as a, a force in the East? Is this playoff streak going to continue? And can they advance? Can they eventually win MLS Cup? Are they a contender this year? Um, I'm not sure that they're a contender this year, but this really helps. And the one thing you want with your designated players is you want them to be invested in your group and mm -hmm. you did this by the way great interview um, I had a chance to speak to him off camera during media day mm -hmm. while we were down there and um, you want your guys to want to be here mm -hmm. you want your guys to understand the history of the club you want your guys to be fit and be able to play he's got he checks off so many boxes mm -hmm. for the New York Red Bulls um, and, and I think he will really help decide the one thing that they've lacked over the, the last, I'm going to say five years, I mean, it was Luquinius who's not there anymore, and they had some guys. They've got Frankie Mayo, I think, is a nice player. Um, they, they got rid of Omir Fernandez, who was their leading goal scorer last year, although I think he only had six goals or something like that on the season. Uh, they need that creative spark. They need that out of the, the, the guy who thinks outside the box a little bit. Um, and, and again, the, he's a guy, hopefully at the end of his career, we'll talk about him like a Diego Valeri who won something, who was mm. invested in the club, who stuck around. Because I don't know, Darian, that they've had that. Look, they've had big names, Terry Henry and mm. Marquez, and they haven't been able to get it done. The guy who gets it done with the Red Bulls <laughs> is going to be some hero uh, in this league. Yeah, well, and I was going to say, too, I, I agree with everything you said, but bringing in a player like him who is bought into the history of the club, wants to be here long term, sees a vision for it, and then you watch in training, taking a shot like that and finishing it is bold and shows so much confidence that when you're a team and you're looking around and you need a, more of an attacking identity, you need to score some goals, that amps you up, that makes you want to buy into the system more, that makes you want to risk and work for each other because they didn't make that many other moves for coming into the season but I think if Schwartz can get the locker room bought in and have Forsberg there to help kind of create this new confidence and boldness to go mm -hmm. into the season to do things like this I think yeah I think they'll be a contender he's not even that old yeah he's 32 years old yeah I mean and he's in it he's a playmaker playing Europe's elite for a top team in a top European league, yep. what more can you ask for? No, you can't. He can pull, in this, in this league, he's going to be able to pull strings. Um, he's going to be able to, he's, he, not he's going to be able to, he will be the dictating orchestrator mm -hmm. of New York Red Bulls. That's the reason why they got him. And, and he's going to have this responsibility to help this team flow, to have an idea attacking identity him and, and and Sandro Schwartz as well who has a big responsibility okay, because yeah. th this is this is a big job for him this is he, huge he's been in, in with Hertha and with Mainz it's been a rele he's been in relegation battles for his career and then he's got the, he got that stint at, at Dynamo Moscow but yeah. in Europe's elite it's been a relegation battle only. I <laughs> It, it, it was interesting. So they had the situation last season uh, where Gerard Struber left in May, and this was following. There was a, a, a very tumultuous time at the club with the, the Dante Van Zier racial slur incident, and then the, the supporters, the Red Bull supporters, were just in, in upheaval um, over the situation, and Gerard Struber ended up leaving. So Troy Lassane stepped in as the sort of – it wasn't even an interim – it was almost like a caretaker manager position and got the team. I mean, I think he did really well under the under the circumstances and got this team into the playoffs. They, it was not looking good for them to extend this playoff streak that they had. And then they won their last three games of the season, got into the playoffs, got that win in the play in match over over Charlotte and then decided to go in a completely different direction. And when you look at Sandro Schwartz's resume, it's. I don't necessarily think, Tony, you look at it and say, oh, this is the guy that's that's going to, to do it. What did you make of this decision by the club? I'm not surprised because this is a Red Bull way of doing things, right? They, they identify young managers, uh, young players in their system that they think can fit their model. Look, this is a very unique club. If you think around world football, there's, <clears throat> excuse me, not many clubs around the world. I, I don't know of another one that does it this way. Now, we do have City Group who owns a bunch of clubs, but that's about developing individual players. There's no club that everybody plays the same way. And over the years, this is a massive move because this is the first time Red Bull has picked from within the system 
and brought a player of his caliber. They brought Drew, uh, Drew Yearwood and a couple of other players that were not making it over there. They were not playing. They weren't names. They were trying to develop these players. Now you bring a guy that, that is a talented player, uh, understands the system, uh, again, wants to be here. So this, is, this mm -hmm. is a massive move for the Red Bulls. Sandro Schwartz, you look at the record, it's not great. But clearly Red Bull has a way of doing things. And, and they, they obviously think that he can get the job done in the way that they want it done. This is not a club where you go, okay, I have my ideas mm -hmm. and this is what I'm going to do. No, this is a club where you said, this is the idea from the club and can we find somebody to do it that way? Mm, that fits within their confines of what they want. Yeah. Uh, well, let's take a look at the projected 11 for the New York Red Bulls and see what Sandro Schwartz will likely be working with this season. Um, the, one of the issues they had, Tony, is that they, they didn't score a lot of goals last year. They didn't c concede many, but they didn't score a lot. Um, their leading goal scorer was Manuel with, with six on the season. So when you look at the way that this is shaping up, do you see more production from them offensively in 2024? Well, Forsberg's obviously going to help that. Edelman now, the youngster, is a year older, playing in the middle of the field. This was That was essentially his rookie year, although he'd played a little bit the year before. Uh, this is a teenager, right, playing right in the middle of the park for uh, the Red Bulls. Uh, Lewis Morgan, injured all of last year, right? He comes back. He's going to be a really important piece of the puzzle. I still think that they're a little bit uh, weak in the attacking part of the field, but it's again about those forwards pressing and winning the ball high up the field. And of course, we know you want a story and you want a personality to follow. Go follow John Tolkien. Right? <laughs> this is a guy that plays with a, a smile on his face. Uh, Carlos Cornell is about as uh, solid a goalkeeper as we have in Major League Soccer. So they have some pieces. They're just going to have to do it in their way. The problem that they've run into over the years is when teams figure out the way that they play and how you can break them down. They've had no answers because they don't really have a plan B um, in the in the style of play. It's high press, it's win the ball up mm -hmm. the field, and it's that way all the time. And if it doesn't work on the night, you get picked apart. Mm -hmm. What what I like about um, Emil Forsberg, what he brings to the table, it's almost at a certain point he can contrast what New York Red Bulls wants to play, that high intensity. The best way to unsettle sometimes is to give a quick pause. And I think because of his nature and his playmaking abilities, he can suddenly bring it down a notch, shift a gear down when everybody is shifting a gear up. And obviously it feels like when you bring such a high intensity to the table, the other team needs to match. If they're not matching you, they'll eat you up, right? In, 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 in theory, mm -hmm. theoretically, we're, we're speaking theoretically, but what Forsberg can bring to the table because of his expertise, is no no when to shift the gear down to to slow the game down and and then to spot I mean with Manuel and, and and Van Zier they've got strikers that know how to score goals I mean Van Zier before all of this mess in in New York at Union Saint Gilloise when he showed up we was like wow Van, Van Zier was scoring a lot of goals at Union yeah. Saint Gilloise he was really good and then obviously the racial incident didn't help him didn't help the club it was no. awful. Um, Nonetheless, paired with Manuel, he's got options to pick out, and 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 hopefully he can bring that to fruition. Um, but that that's how I envision him working in in this system. What is, what are reasonable expectations for the New York Red Bulls? Do we think in 2024, Darian? Is it it's making the playoffs good enough? I don't think it's good enough. Yeah. No, I think with the moves and how long the season is and like I completely agree with what Nico is saying I think uh, with Forsberg being and gives them another dimension to the game that we just expect the Red Bulls to come out and play which you're right high press going a million miles an hour you're exposed in the back when it doesn't work out when it doesn't work out when you're high pressing it's awful um, I I don't know I think they make it a little farther into playoffs I don't think they win but I think it's another layer that will hopefully maybe next season take them further.